Welcome to an Achieving Science video. This video is going to look at magnetic flux density. First of all, what is meant by magnetic flux? Well, the lines that you draw around a magnet to show the magnetic field are known as magnetic flux. Now these lines that you draw show the direction of the force upon a north pole. Now let's have a look at some diagrams. Here we have two sets of bar magnets. Both sets are set up in identical ways. We can draw the magnetic field lines, i.e. the magnetic flux, between both of these magnets. As you can see, the field lines run from north to south. In these two diagrams, you can see that the top diagram has less lines, whereas the bottom diagram has more lines between the north and south poles. What does this show? Well, it shows that these bottom magnets are actually stronger, as they have more lines of magnetic flux. If a current carrying wire is placed in between these magnets, it will experience a force. Now, how can you increase the force upon a conductor in a magnetic field? Well, you can have stronger magnets. You can have more current flowing through the wire. You can use a longer wire. Now all of this then is linked to an equation where the force is linked to the magnetic flux density multiplied by current multiplied by length. Again, this can be simplified into letter format where F equals B I L, where F stands for force measured in Newton's N, B stands for magnetic flux density measured in Tesla capital T, I stands for current measured in amperes A, and length is measured in meters given the symbol L and the unit M. This equation is true for a conductor at right angles to a magnetic field and carrying a current. Let's now use this in a question. So, a straight wire of 0.10 meters long carries a current of 2 amps, is at right angles to a magnetic field. The force on the wire is 0.04 newtons. What is the strength of the magnetic field? First of all, write out what you know. Well, you know the length is 0 0.10 meters. You know the current is 2 amps. You know the force is 0 0.04 newtons. And you will work out B. Now use the equation. Input the numbers that you know. And therefore, you can rearrange the equation to work out that 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.2 equals 0 0.2 Tesla, remembering your units. Now marks are awarded for the equation, your workings, and therefore the final answer, and also the units.